The good news, only 1900 COVID cases reported yesterday. That's because it's down from a record 2300 we saw the day before, so that is a little bit brighter. The bad news, more than 16,000 cases still waiting to be processed by the state of Idaho. So with this sudden and steep increase in cases across the state, the city of McCall is announcing today the annual Mardi Gras parade. They're going to cancel it this year. The Winter Carnival, which was canceled last year because of the pandemic, they're going to go ahead with those plans. It's still open and still happening starting at the end of this month. Katya Stepovic has more on the decision to cancel the parade and what you can expect from this year's Winter Carnival. It's been two years since people packed McCall to dance in the streets. But now the event that brings over 60,000 people to the city is back somewhat. With Omicron spreading so rapidly, um, we just had to eliminate some of those events that really put the big crowds all in one spot. And the parade is that. So Most indoor events will be scaled back and moved outside. Popular attractions like fireworks and ice sculptures, they'll still be there. What we're just asking is that you be aware of just the amount of people around you. Um, stay outside, bring your mask, um, and plan to socially distance and have a great time while you do it. The main reason for canceling the parade? Case counts. Take a look at this graphic. Valley County cases began rising rapidly at the end of December. On January 10th, the county hit its highest seven day moving average ever at 145. You know, when people ask us why I even have the carnival at all, it's something that we um, have struggled with internally. I, I'll be really honest. It is a hard decision for us. We represent local businesses. Um, we want to do what's best for them. And bringing a lot of people to town in theory is good, but in a, in a pandemic may not be. Um, and so we really struggle with that. According to Mackenzie Kramer, McCall Chamber Director of Marketing, even when the event was fully canceled last year, the city still saw a 30% increase in overnight stays. So turnout, not a concern. Is that people will come regardless of whether we say Carnival is officially on or officially off. So yes, we are in a, a very major surge and that is highly concerning to us. Um, we also feel um, slightly more comfortable this year just because um, vaccinations are readily available, um, different treatments are readily, readily available, and most people are pretty well versed at how to protect themselves. <laughs> This may not be a big surprise for a lot of people, Kati, as you well know. A lot of people that live there have even told people if you don't believe in masks or vaccines, stay out of the city of McCall. They've been pretty stringent about mask wearing in that town, but this is a big event for the businesses in McCall, right? It's a huge event for a lot of the businesses in McCall, and frankly, Mackenzie tells me that people should be prepared to see some of these businesses close early and some choosing just not to stay open for long hours. A lot of McCall businesses are still so short staffed, as many of us know, and some of them have strict protocols and people just simply need to respect that. So that's going to be looking a lot different this year. Yeah, and if everything kind of goes the way things are looking, it'll be back next year. The McCall Winter Carnival is here to stay. Yeah. It's a blast but we'll get to it next year with the parade, but still a fun thing to see. All right, thank you very much, Katya.